gonna discuss a feature that has been around for a very, very long time in Excel, but I would say the vast majority of Excel users never even know what you're talking about when you speak about it. And of course, as a result of that, nobody uses it. So let's say you had a scenario, right? Your boss comes into your office and says, oh, I put this spreadsheet together and let's say it's a you know, hack job spreadsheet, it looks like this. And they say, and I'd like to know a bunch of different scenarios. You know, what if we spend more on advertising and as a result of that, our average number of visits go up and what if we increase our sales, therefore our gross profits going up and how is this gonna affect, you know, our average number of visits per week, whatever it might be, essentially. And you're thinking to yourself, I have to now go and make a separate sheet for all of these different scenarios that they can come up with. And then I got to change the values. I got to highlight them. Maybe I got to, you know, generate a report at the end of this thing. Well, long story short, scenarios are for you. This can be done using a feature in Excel without having to make multiple sheets for the same data and the same analysis. We can use a scenario. So to introduce you to this, we need to talk about a couple of things. And then in the next videos, we'll kind of dive deeper into, into scenarios. So what we have here is we have some numbers that are leading down into a bottom line. So I wouldn't go too deep into the numbers. I completely made them up. And what I have here is the sales per customer, what it costs per customer, and then a profit, which is a calculation. So this value could change in a scenario. This value could also change in a scenario. And then I have the average number of visits into our whatever it is uh, per week. And that is again, a number could change. And then we have a calculation that's just calculating a profit per week. We have some calculations, calculating annual uh, profits. We have some overhead costs. Of course, any of these could change potentially. You know, we upgrade our office, we uh, spend more on advertising, buy more supplies, whatever it might be. That of course is subtotaled. And then we have an operating profit, which is simply the um, annual profit here minus the subtotal of my overhead costs, and then you get your total profit. So what we need to do first is we need to create a scenario of the values that could potentially change. And the reason we have to do that is because we always need a way back to our original numbers. So here's how you do this. You're going to go to the data tab. Ah, and before I start actually, I should mention it's a very good idea to name any of the cells that could change. So for example, you'll see here if I click there, this is called sales. This one's called costs. If you need more information about naming, of course, check out the naming videos that I have uh, up on my YouTube page. So um, like I was saying, how to create a scenario? Well, we go to the data tab and on the data tab, there's a button called the what if analysis. On mine, it's really small because I keep this small so the video looks relatively clear. Um, and on yours is going to say what if analysis, you're basically looking for something called scenario manager. When you choose that, the scenario manager changes, uh, and scenario manager pops up, which of course hasn't changed since Excel 97. It's looked exactly the same. And what we need to do is we need to add a scenario. So I'm going to click the add button. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it original, which means this is going to be my original numbers. So by changing cells, what I need to do here is add any cells that could potentially change. Well, that's going to be, in this case, sales costs, visits. By the way, I'm holding control to select these additional cells, but it even tells you that right here. Those are all the overhead costs which could change. Here we go. So I've got the name original, what cells could potentially change. I hit OK. It loads it up. This would normally say B2, B3 in the cell reference, but because I gave it names, this becomes a lot more meaningful. So this is just telling me the current values that are there that will be stored as part of the scenario. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Original scenario gets made. So this is the starting point. This is what we want to build these scenarios on when our, you know, whoever it is that's coming to us saying, well, you know, I wanted to see what happens if this number changes or if we spend more here and this number fluctuates. So this is a starting point. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create a scenario which has a different set of stored numbers and allows you to manipulate the numbers in your spreadsheet without actually creating an additional spreadsheet. So be sure to check out that video.